instead of writing all of them out. So you can, you can write it as a list, you can write it as a rule, you can put it into a Venn diagram. So um, we have the universal set, the weird E, and inside the S set is all of the even numbers between 1 and 20. Or 2 and 20, I mean. So you may have also learnt last year, if we have a set S, we can also have a complement set, which is given by that little dash. Did other classes apart from mine learn this? I'm pretty sure I taught it to my class. Did I teach it to my class? I think so. And this is all the things that are not S. That's what a complement is. So I recommend writing that down if you haven't written it down. So in this example, in the universal set, all of those numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, etc., are the complement numbers. There you go, that's what the funny E is. It's, it's a Greek letter pronounced C. It's, it's kind of like equals, but for... No, the squiggly equals, that's for approximately. Equivalence is for, um, like, phrase. So did most of you get something like that? It's really fancy rule. Only for a triple circle Venn diagram. Okay? So you've got three sets, and you want to find the number. So looking down here, the number in the set where S is union with T, which is union with R. So whereabouts in the Venn diagram is that for three circle one? Uh, everything is four three Yep, so it's uh, it's everything inside. So you would do the number just let's call this S. Er. So it's the number in this, so you add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 10 in that, plus the number in T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus the number in R, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think I counted that right. Oh no, 10. Is everyone with me so far? <coughs> then you minus N, what's this say, say someone? Yep. where S and T intersect, yeah? So how many numbers are there where S and T intersect? 
Four, very good. How many numbers where T and R intersect? Four. How many you add where S, T and R intersect? How many in there? In the very middle bit. Does that make sense to everyone?